the history of the monastery dates back to two years after the death of Santo Domingo 1221. Blessed Manus built, in the birthplace of his brother Domingo, a chapel. In 1266 King Alfonso X, the wise, related to the Guzmán family, had a Gothic church built. Years later the manor house was transformed into a convent, moving to it a community of nuns from San Esteban de Gormas, Soria, who received the privilege of lordship of the place. In the 16th century a new church was built and the original chapel and the chancel of the Gothic church were destroyed, leaving the remains as the nuns' choir. The church of the monastery is made of masonry stone with a single nave and a cruciform plan. In the northern part is the access door with a baroque portal. The main altarpiece has three canvases by Blas de Cervera, 1594-1643, representing scenes from the life of the saint and crowned by a wooden calvary from the Gregorio Fernandez school. And, aside, in the sacristy of the church, there is a Gothic Christ, and from this one descends to the crypt which keeps the remains of Father Manuel Suárez in a funerary monument escorted by four monks, made of granite and alabaster by Ramón Le Paese. This crypt was built in the middle of the 20th century. In it, the well stood out, which is a well that indicates the exact place where Santo Domingo was born. The cloister was built between the 13th and 15th centuries, late Romanesque. It preserves remains of the different stages of its construction with the low cloister with semicircular arches on paired columns, a Gothic agival door and the 18th century brick overcloister. The museum, installed in a Gothic room, offers pieces of high artistic historical interest. Among them, several in polychrome stone of the Virgin and the announcing angel. The historical treasure is in the monastic archive where papal bulls, letters, privileges of kings, rolled documents, letters of St. Raimundo de Penefit, etc. are preserved. The oldest document dates from the 10th century.